Good morning, everyone. It's Marty Harger, and today I want to talk with you about three essential oils that can help you explore the idea of balance. Yesterday was the autumn equinox, and I had a chance to practice yoga with a good friend and instructor here in the area outside. And she really talked about the theme of the balance of the light and the dark, the lightness and the darkness, and how both of these things are really important in creating balance in ourselves uh, at this time of the year, and certainly at this time in our history. So I really want to talk about this idea of grounding ourselves to create balance. So much of what's happening in our world is our mental energy is just spinning and spinning and spinning with all of the things that are changing in our planet, all of the things that are changing in our environment, our political systems, in our everyday life, our work, our people that we're around. Um, so much is changing. And the idea of being able to use the doTERRA essential oils and incorporate them into our yoga practice to be able to create a type of grounding for ourselves is really, really important. Whether you're practicing at home, you're practicing outside, you're practicing in a yoga studio, whether you're a, a yoga practitioner, you're a yoga teacher, you're a studio owner, there's so many different ways that you can help yourself and others to bring some balance and harmony in at this time in our planet. And so I wanted to talk to you about three essential oils. Two of them are trees and one is uh, leaves of a fruit that I think are great choices for right now. And there's some oils that we don't always think about that we may have in our collection. So I want to talk with you about, first of all, black spruce essential oil. And again, I know on Facebook this is backwards, but this is a conifer or pine tree. And black spruce is a wonderful oil. It's actually a disinfecting oil. So you can use it aromatically to diffuse in a room. Oh, it's such a beautiful, gentle scent. You can also use it topically. You might want to dilute it a little bit and you could use it for um, overused muscles and joints if you're feeling a little achy. It's great for respiratory health. A little drop on the palm of the hand. Take that in and really open up the respiratory system. It's also actually a great skin toner. So you can use it for helping cleanse the skin and incorporate it into a facial wash. But what I love about black spruce and the reason I'm talking about this from the sense of balance is that it's very powerful to help balance the nervous system. And that's what a lot of us are challenged with right now is this idea of how we can begin our yoga practice and get present in the moment, kind of block out the rest of the world and really um, become uh, use, make use of the opportunity to be on the mat and to really focus inward. I love the fact that this oil, black spruce, is considered the oil of stability and it's very helpful in times of turmoil, in times of shock and trauma of what's happening in our world. And when our emotions and our energy is running uh, really in an unstable, wavering way throughout the minutes, hours, days, weeks of our lives right now, this is a great oil to begin your yoga practice. The black spruce is one that helps us draw in from our roots and to literally weather the storm. If you think about a spruce tree, it's very anchored in the ground. So this is a wonderful oil for balancing and grounding the oil of stability, the black spruce. So that's one I would consider starting my practice with. You might diffuse it in the area where you're practicing. You might make a mist out of it and, and spray it in your vicinity. You could take a drop like I did and oh, just inhale its beautiful aroma. Now the second essential oil I wanna talk with you about today is Hinoki essential oil. This is, comes from the Japanese cypress tree uh, also known as Hinoki, and I love this oil. This is one that only some of us have because you can you could get this oil as one of doTERRA's products of the month this year. In other words, for those of you that are on the doTERRA loyalty reward program, you know that every month that you place an order for products and oils that you love that are over 125 points, and before the 15th of a month, doTERRA gives you a free oil. Most of the time, something you cannot buy any other way. And this Hinoki essential oil, which is available to our friends in Japan all the time, but here in the United States where I live, 
This is a very special and precious oil. And what a perfect choice right now to use for grounding because this not only supports us emotionally, but physically, this is an oil that supports our immune system. This is something that's great at disinfecting surfaces, uh, wonderful for respiratory health. Again, cypress, it's a Japanese cypress. It has a very different aroma though than the cypress essential oil that some of you may be familiar with. I love the gentle, subtle aroma of Hanoki, and I love how powerfully effective it is. In fact, some of you that know about forest bathing may be aware that the Japanese cypress tree or Hanoki is one of the main trees that is found in Japan that one can walk amongst to help create harmony and balance in the body, mind, and spirit. And I could go on about forest bathing. I've talked about that before, but it's such a powerful way to bring yourself into a grounded state is to get out into the woods. And um, that another way we can do that is to bring the woods to us through the essential oils that we choose. So the Hinoki essential oil to me is such a beautiful oil to think about using right now as we try to help ground ourselves and bring in more balance when we're in this high mental emotional state in our times. And it's the oil of natural harmony. So it's going to help us instill this feeling of not only calming, but of orderliness. And sometimes when I think about some of the wonderful things about Japan is it's a country where organized, um, organizing things orderly, everything has its place. This is the beauty, one of the beautiful things that Japan brings to the universe. And um, it's no exception with this tree. This is something that helps us really bring some order to this crazy time in our world. And it is as a sacred oil. It's an oil where the wood of the Hanoki tree has been used to create temples over the years. And oh, what a beautiful oil that can be used um, aromatically in a diffuser. You could use it topically. In fact, you can use it neat or undiluted. Unless you're like me and you're coveting the little bottle that you have. So you might want to dilute it. And um, beautiful to use internally as well. And this, um, or excuse me, Hinoki we don't use internally. I said that wrong. It's topical and aromatic. But what I love about this is um, the Hinoki tree gives us a stability to create boundaries. And to help us decrease the impact of the chaos in our world right now. So, um if you have Hanoki and you got this as one of your oils of the month, I would just encourage you to pull it out and use it right now for the next six to eight weeks or so as we're in this rather turbulent time all over the world. So many things that are happening. The third essential oil I want to talk to you about today is one that is one, again, you may have in your collection and may not use as much. It's the pettigrain or a pettigrain, I guess if you were trying to say it with an accent. Pettigrain is the, uh, comes from the leaves of the bitter orange tree. And uh, it's one that's been used in perfumery and colognes for years. It's a great oil to bring other oils into harmony. And along those lines, we use it for blending, mostly for emotional purposes. It's uplifting. It is something that lightens our load, it lightens our heart, and helps us ground ourselves by getting rid of some of the things we don't need anymore. Um, when we lighten our heart and our mind, we can use this refreshing aroma to um, dive into something very uh, kind of in a deeper way. Those of you who uh, follow the Emotions and Essential Oils book know that this is the oil of ancestry. And I think this is fascinating right now that to use because um, not only is it balancing and grounding and harmonizing as it lifts us up, but it's also something that encourages appreciation for our ancestral wisdom, our knowledge and history that has come before us to bring us to this time. So we can look at some of that and we may say, well, there's not a lot of knowledge going on in certain arenas. Um, we need to tap more of it. But let's think back for a minute. Our, our ancestry includes not just our family. We can look at our family as an example, but we can also look at things like our yoga lineage. How did you get interested in yoga and where did that come from? How long ago, thousands and thousands of years ago, has that woven its way to you today? How about our teachers? We can look at the ancestry our teachers bring to us, all kinds of teachers, and what history gives us in terms of perspective. So the pedigree essential oil is a great choice because it helps us recognize the humanness in our history and encourages us to explore and really witness the gifts that we have today 
that are things we can base our future choices on, things that we can use to heal our wounds and to get clarity about what we want to create moving forward, what we do want to bring into our world, new traditions, new practices, new experiences for ourselves. So when you take a look at this idea of creating more balance and grounding in yourself, in your yoga practice right now, again, whether you're practicing in public, whether you're practicing at home, if you are a teacher, if you are a studio owner, if you are a practitioner, if you're someone who's a student of yoga, you know, incorporating the black spruce, the hinoki, and the pedigree essential oils is a wonderful way at this time of the equinox to bring balance into the light and the dark, to bring balance with our essential oils to assist us in the process of coming into more of a grounded place. Bring the essential oils into your practice and explore these gifts at this time in our lives. We really, really need these tools and other people that you may know may need them as well. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I also want to share with you, for those of you that are interested, that I recently wrote an ebook, an essential yoga ebook called Back to School, and it has five classes, yoga practices in it that you can incorporate specific doTERRA essential oils. And I've written a script for you to follow and use to introduce the oils, again, whether that's in person, if it's at home, if it's something you're teaching online in a private class or a group class. It's really, a, it's got some fun in it. It's got some really great insights for you to share with the world. It's $14.95. And if you follow in the feed here, you're going to see some posts about it. Would love to have you explore that as a, a way to bring the doTERRA essential oils and the yoga world together for those who are focusing on bringing some calm and peace into the school year for this first month or two. So I want to thank you for your kind attention today, and I hope that you enjoy bringing the black spruce, the hinoki oil, and the pedigree into your yoga practice wherever you may be. I look forward to speaking with you again, and I wish you a wonderful week ahead. Take care, everybody. Namaste.